What is FOIL? Oh, hashtag please help. <laughs> Very loaded question. So it doesn't really say if, if, it's, if it's a math context or, or language arts. But I feel like it can also be, I know it can be math. And I, I know like it, it can, can be language arts. So how about we just answer it for both subjects? Perfect. And hopefully that'll answer your question for you. Sounds good. We'll take care of all of it. Um, Why don't okay. you start? I'll start. Uh, if you cut to my screen, I will show you something I, I came up with. FOIL, um, if, unless you're in high school, you might not have heard of FOIL before. This is more of um, an Algebra 2, maybe Algebra 1 concept. Uh, but FOIL, what it stands for, it's, it's a mnemonic phrase, is that yeah, what or it's called? Yeah, or acronym. Acronym, yeah. okay. See, I don't do that <laughs> language arts, it's not my thing. Um, that stands for front, outside, inside, and last. And what that does is it helps to make, it helps when you're multiplying binomials. Binomials are just, so if you look at my example up here where it says x plus 3 times x minus 2, a binomial is just something that has two terms. Um, and this acronym helps us remember the order of which to multiply these things. So if I were using the acronym, what I would do is I would do my front two terms first, which my front terms in this case are x and x. So I would do x times x, which is x squared. Outside terms, so x and negative 2, which would give me negative 2x. Inside, the 3 and the x, this x. So that would give me 3x. And then last, so 3 and negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 would give me negative 6. Then what you do is you put all of these terms together to get the actual answer of what those multiply to equal. So we would say x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6. And then we can combine like terms to get x squared plus 1x minus 6. Now, uh, FOIL is a method that's, that's used a lot, but the thing is, is it only works with binomials. It doesn't work if you have three terms that you're multiplying together. So what I like to use instead of FOIL is the area model, which I might have introduced yesterday. I'll show you how to do this really briefly. If I were doing the same multiplication that I just did using the area model, um, what I'm going to do is set up one of my binomials as my length, so x plus 3, and one of my binomials as my width x minus 2. And then from there, what I'm going to do is multiply each of my lengths and widths to get um, my area, and then I will put them all together to combine like terms. So x times x, x squared, 3 times x, 3x, negative 2 times x, negative 2x, and then lastly, 3 times negative 2, negative 6. And as you can see, I got the same terms there that I did whenever I did FOIL, except I didn't have to remember front, outside, inside, last. And this area model also works for trinomials or polynomials that have four terms or anything else. So this is, the area model is much more useful. So I suggest that other than FOIL, but FOIL still works. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where it's coming from from math. Whitney can tell you a little bit more about where it's coming from in the language arts realm. Yeah, so a FOIL in language arts is actually a literary device. Um, so I don't know the origin, uh, why it's actually called a foil, other than to, um, you know, think about the the verb form of it that would be to like trick or deceive. Because a foil is a character that actually shows qualities that are in contrast with the main character. Um, this really doesn't have anything to do with the protagonist and the antagonist. Um, an antagonist is often a foil, um, but it. It doesn't mean that they always are the antagonist. Um, so some examples um, might be Harry Potter and Voldemort, okay? Those two characters contrast each other, um, and the contrasting character, Voldemort, um, would be kind of highlighting the attributes that Harry Potter has. So again, those contrasting characters, um, the, the one that's contrasting the main character is going to kind of show the good qualities in the main character. So another example would be uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Again, they're foils. Um, Brutus and Antony from Julius Caesar, um, and even Han Solo and Luke Skywalker would be um, foils in that series because one is going to highlight um, the attributes of another. And again, they're not necessarily opposites, but they do contrast each other. So that's foil in literary device terms. Um, so again, if that, I hope that answered your question on both fronts with the math and the language arts side. 
totally different answers too. Totally Not different even answers. At all the same thing. <laughs> Not at all.